Hey, listen to this. For the next couple of weeks, you might want to take a look up at the sky. You could see something that hasn't been visible on Earth since the time of the Neanderthals. This photo from the International Space Station shows a newly discovered comet on return to our planet. It is about 71 million kilometers away, so scientists aren't worried about it having any impact. The best time to catch a glimpse of the comet will be facing west just after sunset. It won't be visible again for another 80 thousand years, Katie. I yeah. can't get over that. I know, it's, it's pretty rare. Our grandchildren won't see it. Our great-grandchildren won't see it. It is a pretty uh, something you probably want to try to look at. Now, the thing about comets is they're kind of no notoriously difficult to predict, particularly when it comes to their brightness and how easily we'll be able to see with the naked eye. It is going to be making its closest approach to Earth this weekend, and we'll get a better idea of how bright it will appear, but still worth it. And if you have binoculars, you have a telescope, I might buy one, honestly, just to see this rare comet that's moving through. As Tessa just mentioned, all you got to do, go out, look to the west, get your bearings. It's going to be low in the sky to start on October 14th. Its best view is through the 24th. It's going to get higher in the sky, but as it does so, it gets fainter, and that's where you'd likely need as we get towards the end of October. More likely you need the binoculars and telescopes at that point. Also, what are the clouds doing after this weekend and into early next week when we do have potentially some of the brightest views of this comet? We'll talk about that coming up.